Nisi Lexi, unleash the power of your creativity. Good morning. Hi, how are you guys? Welcome to Miss Lexi. If you're new here, I'm a content creator, digital marketer, as well as a blogger. And today I'm going to be talking about the rise of imperial content creating um, FOMO for your brand, which is basically fear of missing out when it comes to content creation. If you're new here, welcome and make sure to hit the subscribe button because I produce a lot of content weekly on digital marketing, on Boss Up With Me, Girl Stack Editions, where we talk about networking we talk about business ideas and personal branding and then also we do the thursday interview live with entrepreneurs from around the globe so if you're an entrepreneur and you would love to share your story and be in our podcast feel free to send me a message and i'll bring you as the next guest for my channel and for those who wanted to have their google ads account audited by me uh, feel free to also message me and then I can also schedule a 30 minute sessions to give you guys an audit for your Google Ads and your business and how you can optimize it properly. So let's dive into today's topic. As the title mentioned, we are going to talk about the rise of uh, imperial content creating and the FOMO for your brand. So what does that actually mean to you? So in the ever evolving landscape of digital marketing, uh, staying on top of things means you constantly have to look into new trends, you constantly have to capture like attention of your audience and things like that. And one thing that, you know, in order to, for you to gain a significant um, momentum during viral contents or trendy topics and things like that sometimes you have a FOMO experience or feelings which is the fear of missing out and you want to be able to also kind of jump into the bandwagon of becoming within that so one thing i would say is that imperial content refers to like a, something that is temporarily fleet or short-lived digital marketing often lasting within 24 hours or it could be like a you know like instagram stories it could be snapchat it could be facebook's uh, stories that is currently like the popular things that is happening and what can you do in order for you to you know um optimize your cam so when it comes to imperial and I probably pronounced that word wrong a uh, content work so that's like you need first of all authentic authenticity that's one number one thing what that means is that you need to try for authenticity you need to be able to have raw and publish nature of this post and it needs to also foster like genuine interest for your audience and connections with your audience what are you trying to say when you're posting a story usually stories are maybe like a short reel of what's about to happen or it could be stories of your picture so for me personally for my on Facebook page I tend to share with stories of like a creative content from other users that I find it pretty interesting or it could just be simply motivating code or it could be just be a new pictures that I wanted to post on my Instagram and I want to share it on the story to show you guys you know what they have a new photos and here's just some cool stuff or sometimes it could also be products from my online shoppings at www.neeselexi.com shops so I have a lot of merchandise there and I want to be able to share it in the stories or it can also sometimes be uh, if I have a guest speakers on my Thursday podcast shows and there is a new artist that is coming in or new entrepreneur, I'll put those on the story first and to just kind of, you know, it's almost like a news thing. It just stays this for 24 hour advertising that this is what's going to happen uh, for people to expect something new. Uh, urgency and exclusivity. That's basically what that story usually content looks like when we it's because it's a, the temporary nature of the stories and and uh, for your instagram and your facebook and things like that you want to make some sort of search uh urgency of things like if you're doing a promotional you're doing a sales and things like that this is where you can actually just kind of share it and if you create um sharing other people's story because it's something that you just kind of interested for for the moment and you're trying to share it with your audience hey look at this cool code or look at this cool stuff you can share it in your story after 24 hours it will just simply disappear um stories tend to have a high engagement because especially if it's something that is relevant if it's a short picture that is really cute or if it's like a sales that is happening people usually tend to react to it they'll either um put a heart on it put an emoji any emoji that is related to their feelings that they they feel when once they see your stories and that's why it's, it's having a visual appealing of your story actually matters because it helps to kind of work with 
resonating with the people that are watching your stories and one thing you would notice is that when you post a lot of stories constantly every day you tend to capture more attention like you would see like your story probably like have a thousand views whereas if you post that same pictures on your page normally stories tend to have a higher engagement just because there's more people watching your stories and you will see like thousands of people viewing your story whereas if you took that the same picture and you post it on your instagram or you post it on your facebook page you might have like slight engagement so like if i post a picture on my facebook page it might probably get like a, a 300 minimum likes or uh, likes there and then a couple of comments or sometimes it could be up to a thousand likes but then that the same image if i put it on my story it might go over 2000 it might have a lot of impressions in there and then if i created a reel there might be a lot of people actually playing the reel as opposed to actually liking it so every things that you do in your social media have a different audience and a different way of people kind of engaging with it when it comes to story there's obviously a lot of people that might actually end up viewing it that's why visual appealing is really great and a strategy for how so how what's the strategy for you in order to create the formal for your uh content of your stories so try to limit time offer promote flashy sell exclusive discount uh limit the time offer to your content and your audience have like a short window for the, for them to take advantage if you're an e-com maybe you want to be like hey this is a 24-hour flash sales hurry up get the deal or you can be like uh the sale ends in like 14 days or like start doing a condom seven days left three days left one day left hurry go get this items so having this kind of like limited time offer will help the urgency for people to actually end up engaging with your a sales and promotion and also your account and that is why and then also try to also do like a behind the scenes sneak peek especially if you're doing a product or merchandise or you're launching a new course or you are trying to produce a new movie or things like that give people a sneak peek behind the scene of what's happening because they want to see like how you actually come about creating that particular content creating that particular stuff so once they see the behind the scene of the stuff of, of the process of you actually producing the product they might be able to kind of engage with you because they're like oh my god this is so cool this is actually how it's done like i'm excited to actually finally see so i can actually purchase it um you can also do a product release taser maybe like you have a new shoes collection that is dropping me i tend to do a lot of those especially whenever i release a new, release a new collections i tend to do like the image stalking or do like a little video and also share it in my stories and share it in as a reels and these tend to work really great and then if you're going to be doing a live event maybe this is also you can also go in there and then kind of do some coverage talk to people on the live streaming i do go live on facebook sometimes and i felt like my life on facebook is more engaging as opposed to the live going on instagram because i'm not really a person who goes live on instagram like that but i know when i do go live on facebook i have a lot of engagement and people don't tend to end up joining and some of them also end up joining after the fact when the life actually ended so these are some things that you can also do where you can talk about the product release on your live videos you can talk about it share it in your stories and things like that another that you can also do you can also do a Q&A session maybe you want to get more insight about your audience to get to know like what exactly you're up to and this is the time for you to be able to kind of like you know do Q&A where you get to hear about what people think about your product how, what other things that they need and things like that if you create products it's really great for them to be able to discuss with you as to what's going on with their life and I would also say consistency in posting try to be very consistent if you're gonna be posting every week at least a minimum of three posts per week is ideal and have make it more consistent because people want to come always to your page and find something there they don't want to come and find a ghost account one one week you're posting so much and the next week you go ghost for like a whole month or a year and then you come back again and then you expect the same people to react to you no people have short-term um, attention spam so if you're not producing or you're not providing them with content they might end up just leaving and go to the next person so try to be more consistent and consistency is a key for you in order for you to kind of like you know grow your channel or grow your account uh use interactive features so maybe you want to use some emojis you want to use some sort of like cool features and things like that that will also help and also try to cross promote across platform maybe you would post it on instagram you post it on tiktok you post it on youtube you post it on twitter or right now it's called x so having a cross platform will have different reactions and different 
expectation of how people will be able to react to you and then try to analyze your matrix and make sure that you your matrix is actually telling your story overall what you want to do is like you want to evaluate what's going on and you measure your success of these uh, mediums and the data analytics that you're capturing from each platform so that way you can determine which platform actually offer you better results okay once you have evaluated all the results of the matrix, then you can determine which platform you want to continue on doing these features and you want to continue on posting and then what other strategy you can do to optimize this platform better. If you find this video was really valuable on how you can go forward with your new year in order to have a better digital marketing plan, the structures and the strategy when it comes to your short video postings, your stories and things like that, make sure to hit that, you know, like this video, making sure that uh, let me know that you this video was very helpful to you and also comment in the description below and let me know comment in the <laughs> section below and let me know how some of these uh suggestions have helped help you with your brand and what other things are you guys currently doing in order to help and growing your youtube channel or your instagram channel or your twitter and things like that because we are all here trying to learn from each other especially for those who are watching so if something worked share it with your with the audience down below and I'll be able to also kind of like, you know, comment back and see some things that will be helpful for everybody that is coming in here to watch this video. And I will see you guys until the next video and have a great day. Bye. Me see Lexi, unleash the power of your creativity.